Hey, it's Morgan with Gradient, and today we're taking a look at the new Unified Web UI Editor. It's this baby right here. It's one of the tools located in the Gradient dashboard. When you create an account, you're greeted with this dashboard. It comes with a Web UI, large language model, a LoRa trainer to make your own models, and the groups of Pirate Diffusion, which are topical groups that have all kinds of uh, prompt inspiration. It's, it's broken down by categories and, and topics and all kinds of stuff that you can join. You know, many different uh, things going on here. Uh, thousands and thousands of um, prompt ideas that uh, you can borrow. Okay, well, I'm gonna go back to my dashboard and log into stable to go And this is what the create page looks like. And by the way, there's tutorials up here. If you've never used a, a generative uh, tool before, you can go into the learn section and it's broken out uh, step by step. You can go ahead and just copy the uh, example prompts right from the tutorials and um, try everything uh, at your own pace. So here we have, and I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so you can fit more of the tool on the page here. I have my positive prompt, positive meaning the things I want to see, negative things I don't want to see. I don't want bad quality or JPEG quality, let's say. We're going to use the default concept. Currently it's called Cyber Real, and this determines the overall art style. And I'm gonna leave everything exactly as it is and hit render. And within a few seconds, the prompt is going to the cloud. You can do this from your smartphone. You can do this from your tablet. You don't need a fast computer. Yeah, it's really fast. It's, it's mobile responsive, so you can use it on, on any kind of device. And it's, it's as, as easy as that. Let's try changing up the art style. And I'm going to change the model to uh, something more anime style. So let's say confetti is a new one that we just loaded. Notice there's thousands and thousands of models that, that you can choose from. So I'm gonna apply this one. And to sharpen up my picture a little more, I'm going to use one of the preset negatives. Let's say this one, I'll apply it. And I know I'm going fast, but just to show you this is the sorts of things that we can do. And I'm going to make the picture a little bit bigger. Just increase the resolution, increase the steps, which will give me a little bit higher quality. And I'm going to turn off the refiner. It's a, this is like a noise cleanup, but uh, it'll give you brighter colors if you turn it off. And I'm gonna hit render. Now, while that's going, I'll show you what some of the other tools do. Long prompt weights changes the, the way that the prompt is processed. So you can have a lot, oh, there's my anime cat. <laughs> You can have a, a really, really long prompt and it'll pick up the words at the end. Sometimes the standard um, prompt processor will leave things out. Sampler, these are different algorithms that will solve the image in a different way. And uh, uh, Keuler is, is, an, is a popular one. It's a, it's a kind of a creative one. And other commands from the, the Pirate Diffusion um, chatbot, you can add them right here. So for example, if I wanted to use Boss, which is like an HDR correction, I can add it there. I can do all kinds of other commands. And I'll, I'll link to the, the Pirate Diffusion cheat sheet command in, in the comments of the video. Let's try a different one. Let's try, hmm, let's see. Let's try <laughs> Simpsons. This one looks pretty cool. Kind of a old fashioned anime style. So in with that one and let's change it up a little bit. Let's... And I'll hit render, see how that goes. We can also request more than one image at a time. We can, we can scoot that up. So let's do four pictures and I'll hit render. Now, while that's going, I'd like to show you the poly feature. Poly is located right from your gradient dashboard and it's a large language model. You can ask poly anything. So I'm gonna say, well, I'm not feeling that creative today. So write me a prompt for a stylish samurai cat. And now I can render it right from here, I'll do that. Or I can copy this. And these are the cats that Polly came up with. It's a different art style, pretty cool. Okay, and uh, my Pagoda cat in the art style of Old Dream it came back with my four, with my four images. It's very, very, very different. I can click on these and I can upscale them further. I can click into it to see the other tools. I can remove the background. I can do in painting. If I wanted to touch up or remove any objects, I can do that. Let's go ahead and upscale this. And I'm gonna upscale it using anime mode. And give that a little bit to go. And while that's thinking, oh, it's already done. 
Let's see what that looks like. Pretty cool. As it's rendering, you can make small changes to your idea and look for your next inspiration. Change up the art style. Um, so I'll try that one next. But the great thing about the concept system is there's just an insane amount of different art styles and personas. There's just so many creative different things that you can apply without a, a ton of co complicated prompting. So for example, if I wanted to use this art style, Laura, meaning like a mini model, I can blend this. I'll hit apply. I can, oh, I got my red pagoda back. This is slightly different. Oh, I love that face. That's so cute. And let's say that like we wanted to, to make a sticker. We wanted to, to make this a sticker. So I say a sticker, sticker design. And I'm going to check the concept system and see if there's any sticker preset. Oh, look at that. I'll apply that. And the weight here, we can control how much influence that this will have over the picture. So I'll bump it up a little bit more. I'll hit render. Now oh, look at that sticker. That's cool. We can we can take this sticker and we can use our tools to remove the background. So we'll do that. Let's see what that looks like. Well, <laughs> should have inpainted the thumb out. I didn't catch that, but that's that's not a problem. We can correct that with inpainting. Do that. So I'm gonna brush the flawed area. Okay, yeah, round sticker of a cat. At a pagoda. Hit inpaint. Inpaint is really good for fixing any small imperfection of an image, removing an object, adding an object changing the background, changing uh, any aspect of, say, look at that. Perfect. That's a basic intro to what you can do with stable to go And if you're up for a challenge, click on this and it'll take you to the challenge of the month. There's always cash prizes and it's fun to see what everyone else is, is working on. So your, your creations are private, but there's also some public areas that you can explore within the uh, Pirate Diffusion uh, system. I'm gonna go back to my gradient and we can explore uh, some of the other activities here. And there's tons of tutorials and uh, behind the scenes content. You can see what our developers are working on. Now check out all of the things that we have. They're broken out by app. So you can go to these specific sections and learn how to do things. For example, if you've never trained your own model, if you wanna check out the, the Loro Maker FAQ, just choose the app and we walk you through it step-by-step, step, how to tag your pictures, how to uh, you can get around in the software, the best practices and how to create images like this. If you're uploading uh, photos of yourselves or what not to do, uh, definitely recommend checking out the Gradient Spaces website where you can see some of the new models that we have preloaded into the system, to all kinds of art styles that we're updating every week. So to get this kind of aesthetic, you don't have to do a lot of prompting. You don't have to do a lot of prompt engineering. You just choose the model or you ask Polly to write the prompts for you and you'll be on your way to making really stunning images just like these from our amazing creator community at Gradient. So that's a quick tutorial, a quick overview. If you have any questions, please hit me up in the comments. I look forward to seeing what you come up with and I'll see you in the group chats. Take care.